Hello, I am Akhilesh Kumar Shivasto, and I will discuss about the expression tree in this lecture. Suppose uh, I have the expression a plus b multiplied with c. This is an arithmetic expression, and uh, by this expression I have built this tree. So the purpose of uh, building this tree is, if you perform the pre-order traversal on this tree, this will result in plus a multiplication b and c. Pre-order traversal means DLR, data left and right. So if you perform the DLR operation or the pre-order traversal on this tree, you will find this expression. This expression is actually the prefix equivalent of the given expression. This is the prefix equivalent of this expression. This is an infix expression and the prefix expression equivalent of the same expression is found by finding the pre-order traversal or computing the pre-order traversal on this tree. Similarly, if you perform the post-order traversal on this tree, the post-order will result in B, C, multiplication, A, B, C, multiplication, and plus. Fine? Now this actually is the postfix equivalent of the given expression. Fine? So we have built uh, exp an expression tree with the help of this infix expression and this expression tree is built for the purpose of computing the prefix and the postfix of the given arithmetic expression. So we have explained the purpose of building this expression tree. Now let us understand how to build this expression tree. Suppose this is the expression for which I want to build the expression tree, a plus b multiplied with c. There are certain rules to follow and those are the operator precedence and associativity rules. You must already have gone through the BODMAS rule for uh, evaluation of the arithmetic expression. Just a, just a change in the BODMAS rule will actually give us the operator precedence and associativity. For example, if I have this expression and some brackets are encountered, let's say the exponentiation operator is also there and then let's say multiplication and division sign is there and then let's say plus and minus is there. Along with this, let's say we have the modulus operator also. So in this expression, we have the brackets, sometimes we call these as uh, parenthesis also. Then the exponentiation, multiplication, division and modulus and then plus and minus. If I assign the priorities to this, this has the highest priority, this has the second highest priority, this has the third highest priority and this has the fourth highest priority. The precedence of multiplication division and modulus are same. Similarly, the precedence of plus and minus are also same. The, if, if in our expression only these operators are appearing, then we will say that exponentiation will have the highest priority. So based on this, let us say we have this expression and we have to build the expression tree. So in this expression, multiplication has higher precedence than plus. So let's make sub-expressions. Highest priority operator, that is multiplication, that is associated with two operands b and c. Let us say that this is the sub-expression number 1. And now you have the expression a plus 1. Fine. So for plus, make a root node. For the, for the left hand side operand, let's make it a on left, left of the plus. And then for sub-expression number 1, on the right side. Let us expand this sub-expression number 1. This is b multiplied with c. So multiplication will come here, b will come on the left, and c will come on the right. So this way we have been able to make this expression tree. Let's take another example. Let's say this is the expression. In this expression, we have plus, minus and multiplication. Out of the plus, minus and multiplication, multiplication has highest precedence. 
So let's take this as sub expression number one, C multiplied with D. Then I have plus and minus. If I have same priority operators appearing back to back, in that case, plus, minus, or multiplication division, or multiplication division modulus also, this is left associative. It means if I have something like A plus B plus C, so I will first evaluate this A plus B, and then whatever is the answer will be added in C. So the leftmost operator has been has given the precedence over the right one. Similarly, if in any expression I have A plus B minus C, in that case, since plus and minus are of the same precedence, first this A plus B will be performed, and then whatever be the answer will be subtracted from C. Fine. Similarly, if I have A multiplied with B modulus C, then multiplication modulus has the same precedence. So A multiplied with B will be performed first. Whatever be the answer, we'll take modulus of that with C. So for plus, minus, multiplication, division, and modulus, we perform left to right rules. It means these operators are left associative. Suppose I have the expression A raised to the power B raised to the power C. In this case, we have two exponents. Fine. If you see it mathematically, it is written like this, A raised to the power B raised to the power C. So for computing the answer of the same, we first perform B raised to the power C. It means this expression is evaluated first. And then whatever is the answer is applied on A. So A raised to the power B raised to the power C. It means this exponent has higher precedence than this one. Fine. This exponent has higher precedence than this one. So if back to back we are, we have two exponents appearing, the rightmost exponent has higher precedence than the left one. So this exponent operators is right associative. So we now have a rule of the associativity also. Plus, minus, multiplication, division, and modulus, these are left associative. And exponent operator is right associative. Based on this, let us once again come back to this expression a plus b minus c multiplied with d. We have already seen that multiplication has higher precedence than plus and minus. That's why we have made the sub expression for c multiplied with d. And then I have plus and minus. Plus and minus are left associative. So left one will be evaluated first. So let's make it sub expression number two for a plus b. Now I have the expression two minus one. So minus becomes the root node. Sub expression 2 comes on the right, left, sub expression 1 comes on the right. Let us expand this 2. This is a plus b plus comes here, a comes here, and then b here. Similarly, let us expand this 1. This is c multiplied with d. Multiplication comes here, c comes here, and d comes here. We have started this lecture with explaining the purpose of building the expression tree, if you find out the pre-order traversal of on this expression tree, you will find the prefix equivalent of the given expression. Similarly, if you perform the post-order traversal on this tree, you will find the post-order traversal of the expression tree. So let us perform the pre-order traversal. So the pre-order traversal will result in minus plus a, b, multiplication, C and D. So this is the prefix equivalent of the given expression. Similarly, if you perform the post-order traversal on this, this is the post-order traversal of the given expression. Let's take another expression. So this is the expression. In this expression, the operators which are appearing are exponent, multiplication, and minus. Since exponent has the highest priority, we will first evaluate the exponents. Now you see that the exponents are appearing back to back in this expression. Since exp exponents are right associative, so rightmost exponent will be given the priority. 
So B multiplied with C is evaluated first. So this is taken as sub expression number one. Now I am left with exponent my multiplication minus. Obviously the exponent has higher precedence. So A exponent one is the sub expression number two. Now I'm left with multiplication and minus. Multiplication has higher precedence. So now the sub expressions two multiplied with D becomes sub expression number three. Then I have three minus E. I will build the tree now. Minus becomes the root node. Three on the left, E on the right. For three, it is two multiplied with D. So let us expand this tree. Two on the left, D on the right. Let's expand this two. This is A raised to the power one. This is exponent. A on the left, one on the right. Let's expand this one. This is B raised to the power C. This is exponent B and C. So this is the expression tree for the given arithmetic expression. Once again, if you will perform the pre-order traversal, you will get the prefix expression. If you will perform the post-order traversal, you will get the postfix expression of this tree. One observation in this expression tree that all the internal nodes, all the internal nodes are operators and all the leaf nodes are operands. See, all the internal nodes are operators and all the leaf nodes are operands. Fine. So a check can be applied after building this expression tree if all the leaf nodes are coming as the operands and all the internal nodes are operators your expression may be correct but another check to apply if your expression tree is correct or not will be by performing the pre-order traversal and checking it with the prefix expression of the given expression. Let's take another expression wherein the braces or the parentheses are also involved. Let's take the same expression and let's say this D minus E is in the in the brackets and then this also is in the brackets. So since brackets are having the highest precedence and we know that the innermost bracket will have the highest precedence. So D minus E expression will make it sub expression number one and then the outermost braces b raised to the power c multiplied with 1. Out of exponent and multiplication, exponent has got higher precedence. So this is taken as sub expression number 2. And then I have 2 multiplied with 1. Fine. So 2 multiplied with 1 is taken as sub expression number 3. Now finally I have a raised to the power 3. So let's take exponent as a root node. a on the left side and 3 on the right side. For 3, it is 2 multiplied with 1. So multiplication sign here. Sub expression number 2 on the left. Sub expression number 1 on the right. Let's expand this sub expression number 2. This is b raised to the power c. Let's expand this 1. This is d minus e. So this is the expression tree for the given arithmetic expression. Now you see that in, uh, in the arithmetic expression we had parenthesis or the brackets but in the expression tree we do not have any bracket. Fine. In, these, uh, in the expression braces or parenthesis may be there but in the expression tree there will be no brackets. Thank you.